will discuss about the test tab. This is basically the statistical testing. So you have two types of testing. One is two sample test and pair to two sample test. In two sample test, we have Colmo Groves Myrno test and Wilcoxon Ransom test, T test and F test. And in pair two sample test, we have correlation and Wilcoxon. So Colmo Groves Myrno test is a non-parametric test to check whether are the distributions are different or not. Next one is Wilcoxon Ransom test. This is also a non-parametric test to check whether the paired samples have different distributions. T-test is a parametric test to see whether the means are different. And F-test is the parametric test that is the variance are different or not. And in pair to two sample test, we have to see the correlation. In correlation here, we are using Pearson correlation. Are the values from the paired samples are correlated or not? And in Wilcoxon signed rank, this is a non-parametric test. And Wilcoxon rank sum is also a non-parametric test where this Wilcoxon ransom will check whether the medians are different. But Wilcoxon sign rank will check whether the pair samples have the dis different distribution. So Wilcoxon sign rank will have two variables, whereas in Wilcoxon ransom, we have only one variable to check. OK, so let's try. If you click Colmar Gross Merno uh, to sample test, we have to select which variable we have to evaluate. And if you click rainfall and execute, you can see the output here. So this is basically the statistical output. OK, you can learn more about Colmar Gross Merno test here, which is a non-parametric test. Similarity of the two distributions. The null hypothesis is that the two samples are drawn from the same distributions. So if it is a null hypothesis, then it will be a different one. So this is how it has been grouped. So if you click Wilcox and Ransom, even for this, you have to select any variable. And if you click Execute, you can see the Wilcox and value. OK. And if you want to see the t-test, so as I said, t-test is a parametric to see the means different. You can see the t-test value here. And this is for f-test. We will discuss about these every individual testing topic in the statistics video. And if you click correlation, you have to select two variables because this is a paired to sample test. So we have to click two variables here and check what is the output for this. And for Wilcox and sign rank also, we need two variables because since these are paired two sample we need. In correlation, we are using the Pearson correlation. So these are the output. So this is all about your test. So test is used usually, uh, which is used to do some statistical calculations. Transform tab provides numerous options for transforming our data set. Cleaning our data and creating new features from the data occupies much of our time as a data miners. It will take approximately 80% of time to transform our data. Whatever data we are getting from the source, we cannot directly model it or train it. We have to transform it to our proper data. Through Rattle user interface, we can perform some of the more common transformations. 
which will include normalizing the data, filling in missing values, turning numeric variables into a categorical variable, and vice versa, dealing with outliers, and removing variable or observations with a missing value. So this is the transform tab where we are going to do many options. Here you can see four options like rescale, impute, recode, and cleanup. We'll see about rescale. So in rescale, we can transform numeric data to standard scales. In rescale, we have these options like recenter. So this will rescale the mean is 0 and the standard deviation is 1. And this is scale where the range will be 0 to 1. And this is mean and median absolute deviation that is MAD. Natural log, log 10 and matrix. Okay. So let us think about one thing. A variable like income will overcome a variable like age when calculating a distance. A distance of 10 years may be more significant than the distance $10,000. So we have to recenter here with the proper value. The types of normalization we may want to perform include recentering and rescaling our data to be around zero. Rescaling our data to be in the range from 0 to 1. Convert the numbers into rank ordering and finally to do robust rescaling around 0 using the median value. So these values, these options are available in Rattle. So most probably we will not be doing with a natural log, log 10. So it will be around a recenter, scale and median. So just see, you have to select which variable you want to rescale so if i click min temp so i just wanted to rescale it to min temp recenter it okay in rescale i want to recenter the min temp min temp variable so just select whatever the variable which you want to recenter and then click execute now you can see the new variable appeared Okay, so min temp is here where this is the recentered value. So this R is rescale and RC is recenter. So first R, RC means rescale, recenter, and it has recentered the min temp variable. And once it is created, if you go and see in the data tab, you can see the Existing min temp value is automatically ignored and the new min temp is considered to be an input. Okay, we'll do another example. So see here, max temp is now as an input. Now I am going to change max temp. I'm going to scale it. Okay, so just click max temp, scale, click scale and executed so now you can see here r01 and max temp a new variable is generated that is transformed variable is generated and if you go to data tab you can see max temp is ignored because we have transformed that variable and r01 max temp has been considered as an input got it Likewise, we can also do median and if you click evaporation, so just we will go and see in data, we have evaporation, okay, so evaporation as a input value. So I'm going to do transform and median evaporation. So I'm going to transform this evaporation with the median or median absolute deviation value. So I'm just executing it. So you can just see. It is R, this first R, that is R MD underscore evaporation. R means rescale. MD is median and evaporation. So this is generated. And if you go to data and see, evaporation has been ignored. 
and our md evaporation has been considered as an input so if you view this okay so if you view this you can see the value here r r c r01 and r md where these values lies between minus 1 to plus 1 and here it is 0 to 1 and this is also between 0 and 1 okay so the new value has been generated wherever it fi find some zero value or null value it will be automatically replaced and all the values has been generated accordingly okay so this is how the rescale works you can also select rank to rank accordingly so usually we'll be using rank to find which is the top and which is the um bottom most one so which is the top most one and which is the bottom most one if you just um, find cloud 9 am and execute so you can see r r k cloud 9 am is here and if you see the data so you can see r r k 9 am it will show you the rank accordingly so you can see somewhere uh, like a first rank second rank there will be some first second and third as well okay so here if you search you can see the first rank and second rank third four five six and everything impute in the transform is the process of filling in the gaps or missing values in the data data will contain missing values and this can cause a problem for some modeling algorithms for example the random forest option silently removes any observation with any missing value for data sets with a very large number of variables the reasonable number of missing values this may well result in a small unrepresentative data set or even no data set at all there are many types of imputations available but in rattle it will support only these such thing zero or missing mean median mode and we can fill it up with some constant value so if you click zero and if we click execute so it will be replaced so what is this zero missing is the simplest imputation involves replacing all missing values for the variable with a single value this makes actually indicates that the value is zero rather than unknown there might be some entries like na not available or null so that will be changed to zero if the number of children in a family is not recorded it could be a reasonable assumptions to assume that it is zero for categorical data the simplest approach to imputation is to replace missing values with the special value missing the next option is a recode recode provides numerous recoding operations like binning in binning we have three options either we can bin based on the quantiles or we can bin based on k means clustering or we can bin based on the width so binning is like a number of bins it will partition the numerical variables as a bins so let's try one so if i click win gust to bin with the quantiles and if i execute it if i execute it it will show you that bq4 that is binning quartile 4 and it is applied to wind speed 9 am so apart from this bin other options are indicator variable join categories as categories and as numeric so indicator variable turn a category into a collection of numeric variables that is zeros and ones whereas the join categories 
joining means combining multiple categoric variables into a single categoric variables and as categoric will multiply out the selected categories into a single single variable and as a numeric multiply out the selected categories into a new single variable so you can just try out with other options and execute it and if you execute you can see a new one appears here and the last option is clean up clean up means simply to clean or delete you can delete the ignored one like which we have ignored in the data tab or else you can delete the selected one whichever we want to delete it we can just delete and sell uh, we can select and delete it or we can just select delete the missed values in that particular variable or we can also do select delete obs with missing value so any observations if it has any missing value we can delete that so this is also available in transform probably we should not opt for cleaning up because every record in our data set is very very valuable so we should consider imputing them with some zeros or median or mode or we can also record it we should not clean it up but sometimes the situation comes where we need to clean it up